Guilty on all counts. The verdict is now in in the case of the uh, man uh, who was accused of killing uh, Jennifer Hudson's, uh, members of Jennifer Hudson's family, William Balfour, convicted first degree murder, all three counts, convicted of home invasion, residential burglary, possession of stolen vehicle, aggravated kidnapping. He, William Bad Balfour, 30 years old, uh, Jennifer Hudson's former brother-in-law. The victims, Jennifer Hudson's mother, Darnell Donerson, 57 years old. He killed her uh, in uh, her living room. Uh, Jennifer Hudson's brother, Jason Hudson, 29 years old. He killed him uh, as he lay in bed. Also, uh, Jennifer Hudson's nephew, Julian King, only seven years old. Investigators believe the boy was shot in the head as he lay behind the front seat of an SUV. All of this occurring back in October 2008. Uh, the evidence against him was enormous. The assistant state attorney, uh, Jennifer Bagby's closing arguments, among other things, saying that Balfour, quote, was fueled by his obsession his jealousy, his determination to catch his wife, Julia Hudson, with another man. Uh, going on, Jennifer Bagby said in her closing arguments, she didn't want him around, her family didn't want him around, but in his mind, she was his wife, and if he couldn't have her, no one else could. Uh, guilty, all counts. William Balfour, 30 years old, uh, he is now expected to spend the rest of his life in prison, convicted on all those charges. Uh, our own uh, uh, Ted Rollins has uh, been in the courtroom. As soon as he comes uh, out, we'll get a little uh, flavor of what was going inside when the verdict was read. But there you have it, uh, William Balfour, Jennifer Hudson's former brother-in-law, guilty on all counts. We'll take a quick break. Uh, we'll hear uh, uh, from our man on the scene inside, Ted Rollins, as soon as we come back. I just want to repeat the breaking news uh, we reported to you just a little while ago. William Balfour, uh, Jennifer Hudson's former brother-in-law, convicted on all counts, including first-degree murder. There you see uh, shots from the courthouse uh, in Chicago. Uh, William Balfour, 30 years old, convicted first-degree murder, home invasion, residential burglary, possession of a stolen vehicle, accused of killing Darnell Donerson, 57 years old. Uh, that would be uh, Jennifer Hudson's mother, Jennifer Hudson's brother, Jason Hudson, 29, and Jennifer Hudson's nephew. Julian King, only seven years old. All this occurring back in October 2008. Our own Ted Rollins has been inside the courtroom. As soon as he comes out, we'll bring him in. We'll get a little flavor of what was going on. But William Balfour, 30 years old, will now spend the rest of his life in prison. First degree murder, killing three individuals. I want to get back to the verdict in Chicago. William Balfour, 30 years old. Uh, William Balfour, uh, a convicted of uh, first-degree murder, convicted of home invasion, residential burglary, possession of a stolen vehicle. Uh, Jennifer Hudson's former brother-in-law. There you see the uh, pictures of the courthouse. Our own Ted Rollins has been inside. But I want to bring in Sonny Huston, uh, our legal analyst who's been monitoring this trial for us. Uh, a huge surprise, not so much of a surprise. What do you think, uh, Sonny, that uh, William Butler convicted on all counts? You know, I am somewhat surprised because this wasn't a slam dunk case for the prosecution. This was very much so a circumstantial case. And so with the missing forensic, I was a bit concerned that the jury would be unable to convict because we hear so much about the CSI effect and jurors really want fingerprints. They want forensics. They want uh, gun powder residue on, you know, a defendant's hands. And a lot of that evidence was missing in this case. So I, I, I'm surprised um, at the, the fact that they were able to come to a verdict in really a short amount of time because uh, it, it's Friday. They've only had the case for a couple of days. And just earlier today, they were split. They were, they were split down the middle in, in, in terms of guilt or innocence. So um, really a, a win for the prosecution and justice for the Hudson family for Jennifer Hudson, but this was not an easy case for this prosecution. And Jennifer Hudson, uh, the uh, the actress, the singer, she was there at that trial throughout. Isn't that right, Sonny? That's right. She was the prosecution's first witness, uh, first witness on the stand, and she was she has been there day in and day out, as she said she would be. Her fiance also there with her in the courtroom. Um, she did leave the courtroom sometimes when uh, evidence was going to come in, specifically evidence about the, the shooting death of her nephew, her seven-year-old nephew, some of the more gory uh, details about her mother and her brother's death. She was not in the courtroom 
for, for that bit of testimony. But by and large, well, she was there every single day. Ted Rollins has just walked out of the uh, courtroom. He's joining us now. Uh, Ted, tell us how it went down inside. We know he's guilty on all counts. Yeah, and it was a, an emotional scene in, in the courtroom. It always is when a verdict jury, uh, a jury verdict is read. Jennifer Hudson was with her fiance, David Otunga, and her sister, Julia. She was holding hands with both of them as the verdicts were read, and she broke down in tears after the verdicts were read. Immediately when the first murder guilty verdict came down, David Otunga, her fiance, said yes. And she responded to that. And then uh, after the third murder verdict was read, which were the last verdicts to be read, she started to cry, uh, breaking down. She had tissue in her hair. It was a very emotional scene inside that courtroom. She had, she had been there almost every single day. Is that right? Every single day, yes. Um, a lot of people would, were surprised that she was there every day. And she did leave the courtroom during emotional testimony or graphic testimony, specifically when uh, the coroner was on the stand or medical examiners were on the stand, even some crime scene investigators. So they were giving her a heads up, hey, coming up here, there's going to be some graphic testimony. She would get up and leave, but she would be right back in the courtroom as soon as that witness was off the stand. She was here every single day. And, uh, and, and never missed a day at all. Of the 11 days uh, into three weeks of testimony, long days too, sometimes going till 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. Yeah, the former uh, br brother-in-law, William Balfour, is convicted. He had pleaded not guilty, and his lawyer had argued that there was no, quote, forensic evidence linking him to the killing. So how did the prosecution effectively make the case that it was obviously a very effective prosecution? Yeah, and they had some hurdles because of the lack of DNA evidence. In their closing argument, they said DNA in this case means do not acquit. And they worked around the fact that there wasn't that, that CSI evidence that a lot of juries really demand. They want evidence physical evidence that somebody was at a crime scene. William Balfour had no DNA, no fingerprints left at either one of two crime scenes, the Hudson home and the vehicle where the seven-year-old Julian King, the little boy, was found dead. He had no fingerprint, no DNA in either one of those. However, there was incriminating evidence, and a lot of it was what he had said to the Hudson family, specifically Julia Hudson, threatening this exact scenario multiple times, saying that I am going to kill you, but I'm going to kill your family first, and you'll be the last to die. This was a theme of the closing. This was the theme of the opening, and it was a theme of a lot of the witnesses that took the stand for the prosecution. Emotion really was at the heart of this case. And Sonny Hostin, uh, quickly, I want to just uh, make the point that uh, some of the strongest evidence uh, included a cell phone record that showed that Balfour was near the scene uh, of the uh, murders. Also, gun residue found on Balfour's closing and on the steering wheel of his car. And also the key to Jason Hudson's uh, SUV found on Balfour when he was arrested. Jason Hudson, 29 years old. That was Jennifer Hudson's brother. So that's pretty compelling evidence, even if there was no direct forensic evidence in this case. And certainly enough to convince members of the jury that he was guilty, uh, Sonny. That's right. And it, it was very much a circumstantial case, a strong circumstantial case, Wolf. Um, at, with the evidence that you just outlined. What was interesting to me is the jury didn't ask for a lot of evidence to be taken back into the jury room, but they did ask for those cell phone records. And so it goes to show you that that blueprint, um, that sort of social media blueprint or cell phone blueprint is very important when prosecutors try cases because it can place the defendant at the scene of the crime. And that's clearly what happened here. Ted, is uh, the, the fact that he's guilty of first-degree murder, uh, does that mean he's going to get life without the possibility of parole, or is there a possibility of parole, or we don't know yet? No, there is no possibility of parole. He'll get life without parole, and there are, the sentencing guidelines are, are cemented. There's no leeway here for the judge. So when the sentencing takes place, uh, there, there's, there's no other option in this case for William Balfour. He will be sentenced to life without parole without parole and the, uh, the death penalty in Illinois on hold, at least for now. That's why he's going to get life without parole as opposed to the death uh, sentence. And Jennifer Hudson has now left the courtroom. Uh, she is, has moved on. Is that right, uh, uh, is that right, Ted? 
Yeah, she has left the courtroom. Um, uh, she, she was allowed out along with her family before anybody else was allowed out, and uh, she uh, presumably has left the building. We asked if she'd be making a statement following this, uh, and at the point that we asked, the answer we got was probably not. So at this point, we don't know if she'll say anything, but we believe she's left the courthouse. Ted Rollins, thanks very much. Uh, Sonny Hostin, thanks very much uh, to you as well. Once again, for viewers just tuning in, William Balfour convicted all counts, including first-degree murder, uh, for killing uh, Jennifer Hudson, members of Jennifer Hudson's family, including her mother, her brother, and her nephew. That's it for me. Thanks very much for joining us. Before I go, I want to wish all the wonderful mothers out there a happy Mother's Day this Sunday. I'm Wolf Blitzer in the Situation Room. The news continues next on CNN.